Hey everybody, today I've got you here to talk about panties. And a lot of the sewing things that I'm going to talk about are going to be stuff that will help you with your weaving and sewing it, but probably not today. I've made a whole bunch of panties because I gained a bunch of weight and my panties weren't fitting because that happens. They stretch with you, but only so far. And so I needed new ones and I wanted a whole bunch of them and I wanted them to fit the way I wanted them to fit. I was tired of that slow slide up. So I found a pattern online and as usual, I'm gonna write a blog post and link it down below. So you can get all of that linking and information in the blog post. And it has more pictures and static pictures so that you can really kind of look at everything really well. So, I first want to talk about material. And if you want to keep your cooch happy, you want to pick a good material. But some of the ones that stick to your body and stay on really well, sort of like that whole Spanx thing, aren't really breathable. So while those things are great if you are in an air conditioned office or not doing a whole lot of physical activity or aren't wearing them to work out, they are great. And that's what I made because I really enjoy that material and I enjoy the way it fits. Um, but I have to make more because these are not going to suffice for my summer life. My winter life, I can put anything in my on my lower region. My front bottom and back bottom are going to be happy with it as long as it's fitted and is comfortable and doesn't just slide down with my jeans or slide up because of ill-fitting. So fit is really important, but the material is going to matter a whole lot. So, I wanted to show you some ideas and some no-nos. So, this is a knit material, and I don't know if you saw, I made a jacket out of it. And it's got a tiny bit of stretch. That is not going to work. You need stretch. You need movement. You need your panties to stretch and fit on and to kind of fit you tight, unless you don't want that then you can make them loose and boxer type out of really anything. But really what I'm talking about is the tight fitting kind of hipster or bikini or any of those kind of tight, the ones that you want to kind of snug around your body. And um, this is a material I had. Can you see the little sparklies? These are gonna be scratchy, both sides, and they'll be scratchy. Cute, and if you don't plan on keeping them on for very long, perfect because it's got enough stretch and it works. However, it's not gonna be comfortable for long. So avoid the metallicies unless they're a um, fancy pair for a special occasion. Then I've got things like Doodles. It's a brand by Joann's called Doodles. And this is my Santa fabric left over from a shirt that I did. And I love the Doodles collection, and I've made my pizza and burger dress. I did a t-shirt out of donuts, and then I've got this whole series of them for Christmas. So I made two t-shirts over Christmas, the Santa and a unicorn one, and I'm going to keep making them. So I have all these pieces left over, and they seem like they might be good, but... The one thing that I know about this, and you can even see it right there, I stretched it. And not just that Santa is not going to look good on your butt, but he didn't go back. Look how wide this Santa looks compared to this one. So once this material stretches out, it doesn't go back. So you're going to have it on your butt for a couple of hours and it's going to stretch and it's going to start to be uncomfortable because it's going to feel like it's all flappy back there and then it's going to start moving and bunching up. That is not what you want for a pair of panties. So cute as they are, this is going to go in the same pile as that metallic -y one 
if you're only wearing it for a little time and for a little bit of fun, a little bit of novelty look at Christmas or whatever, great. Otherwise, for a full day's worth of work, it's not going to work. This is another no-no. It's much like the t-shirt that I've got on. And you can use t-shirts to make um, underpants. So this is that same kind of material. So you can use t-shirts to make underpants. They're just going to be light, which can be good. You just got to make sure how's the stretch. Does it stretch back? Same with the t-shirt. If you've got a t-shirt that you love that doesn't fit anymore and you want to cut it up into a cute pair of panties, that's great. Does it stretch? Is it going to do what the Santa fabric did? did is it going to stretch out and not stretch back until it's washed again so you want it to have a good amount of stretch is it going to stretch out you want it to be a four-way stretch which means it stretches up and down and side to side and it doesn't need to stretch the same amount up and down and side to side it just needs to be able to have a good amount of stretch in order to fit because if it's only stretching in one way it's, you really need it to stretch both ways to work for your front and back bottom areas so this one would work. It's just going to be, you know, fairly thin, which is fine. And if you're good with thin underpants, then something like this will work. It stretches back really well. Pretty happy with it. Uh, check the content. It's fairly good. This one, I believe, is um, only about 80% cotton, which is good. I mean, you want it to be breathable. It's thin, it's breathable. Okay, that would work. Then there's this, which um, is 95% cotton and 5% spandex, which is probably my choice uh, for summer panties. And right on there, yeah, let's see if I can turn it around, it says, feel the difference. And you can feel the difference. There is, if you're in a store and you have a chance to really move these, you can really feel the difference. This is a four-way stretch. It's got beautiful movement. It's not too thin, not too thick. It comes right back and it's got enough cotton that I know it's going to be breathable. And I can wear it to work out in. I can wear it outside. It's going to be great. Now, so go through materials, take a look at it, find out what it's made out of. Like this one, it even has it written right on the side. Right there. I don't remember all of these great. So um, this was nice that it had it written on the side. Some of them I looked up. Um, if you're ordering online, you can look for that. Try to get samples if you can so that you can kind of get an idea of what's going to work for you. The thing that I did end up making my panties out of is like, are you guys familiar with the LuLaRoe leggings? Is that double brushed stuff. And it is not really breathable. Uh, right now, I'm pretty happy with it because it's winter. Uh, what I work out in is not these. And, you know, these are just great daily wear. They're comfortable. So, got a whole bunch that I made out of scraps from other t-shirts or projects that I had. And they're fun. I mean, come on, the prints are great on these. And they come in such a wide range of prints. And so it's a cheap material and it's fun to use. And I had a ton of it. So I just made myself a whole week's worth of panties in it just so that I would have them. And so that I could experiment with everything that I liked. Is this going to be the right shape of panty? Is it going to, you know, what type of leg do I want? What type of waistband do I want? And when I start making my summer ones out of fabric like this stuff, I'm going to have to redo that a little bit because the movement of the fabric of this, while it's really similar to this, uh, the stay up action might not be the same because these stay up. This is just, you can see, this is just another piece of the brushed material. I just surged it in there. I made it a little bit smaller than the waistband of the panty itself. 
and serge that on there as a waistband and that's it and as for this you can see so let's do waistbands we'll talk about those so I did that as a waistband and I did this which is the lingerie elastic waistband and then I did a wide it's hard to see on this a wide fold over elastic you can kind of see it better on the inside that's it it's just a wide fold over elastic that I folded over the material and zigzag stitched it on so there those are the three different top waistband things that I did and this one is good and it works for my winter collection of panties but it's not going to work for my summer collection because um, I'm going to be working a lot. I do a lot of work outside in the garden. I'm bending over. I'm standing up. I'm using the pitchfork, the hoe, just running around on the tractor, off the tractor, catching sheep, whatever. So these are eventually just not going to work. My jeans are going to pull at them because that's what happens. This... I really don't like this at all. I didn't use this for the legs because I find this material scratchy. And this didn't add anything to it. I could have made it a little bit tighter, but I really didn't like this. I felt like it's, it's stretched out. And I think that's just the bad elastic. Uh, so it just stretched out and it just wasn't any good. The winner is this. It's the thicker fold over elastic and I got it at Joann's and it's soft. It feels good and it's got a lot of elastic elasticity. It kind of really hangs on good. So when I make my final pairs out of the other stuff, that's the waistband I'm going to use just straight off the bat. If I'm making more winter ones, I might do more like this because they're super comfy and I don't have the elastic to deal with at my waistline. But for, you know, good summer or sportsy type things, this is what I found. You might find different. As for the legs, the underwear pattern I made, they're hipster patterns. And what hipster does is it goes lower. So you have a thicker band right at your hips and the butt is completely covered. So there's more butt. They're almost like the boy short ones. And... If I was making bikinis, I would definitely need to have some super elastic to kind of keep it in place. But as it is, there's enough of this material that it's going to stay around my butt. And that's what I want. I want it to stay there and not slide in. That's the whole point in these, right? So I got a pattern that kind of stayed on my butt and it's going to stay there. And so I don't need that much effort around the leg band. So the legs that I ended up really liking was just, I folded it over. That's it. Folded it over, zigzag stitch, and these stay right where they're supposed to. They have not ridden up once. Oh my gosh. Do you know how awesome that is? So that's what I ended up doing for most of them. But I did want some pretty pairs. So I have some where I put lace. Can you see the pretty lace? It's just an elasticized lace that you can get at a lot of places. It's pretty. Does nothing actually extra. Uh, doesn't really cinch it in any, but it's pretty and I like it. So I might do that on some of them just for fun. And I also did some that were, you know, the thinner version of the fold over elastic did the fold over elastic and zigzag stitched it down and you know those gave a little more elasticity to it a little bit tighter if I needed my panties to stay right where they were because they weren't going to like in a set of bikini panties this is what I would use I don't need it for this it's overkill and it's an extra expense that I don't need I might need it if I switch materials and I will check and experiment with that but I don't with this material so that's it uh, just get a pan panty pattern and I'm gonna link it in that blog so you can see what I've used and I did the pattern I 
made a pair of panties. I adjusted my pattern and then I made my own pattern out of that. But I'm still calling it hers because all I did was I just, you know, retraced it all and redid it so that it was exactly the size that I want. And then I just have it. So experiment with your materials, experiment with your pattern, and yes, wear it for a full day before you make a decision. I mean, obviously not if it's super uncomfortable, but if you're like, this is great, wear it for a full day, see if it really is great. If it is, make yourself a ton. Make your butt and your cooch happy. Make yourself some new panties, because girl, you deserve them.